Hey gang, old Bit Collector here. Been a while since I recorded a video and I'm well overdue, so I thought I'd record my current project, which is the propeller slash micromite combination. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at to the left, you're looking at the Quick Start VGA 256 Pocket Mini Computer combination from 2013. Uh, which is the propeller handling VGA out, keyboard in, audio out. Uh, you see a micro SD card adapter poking off the top there behind the wires um, and a quick start underneath powering it all. On the left is a little breadboard on my cog sled and what I've got here is a micro mite. It's basically a pick chip uh, with some software on it that's doing some fairly amazing stuff with my propeller. Uh, and you see that the hookup for it pretty doggone simple. I've got four wires coming from the propeller, uh, a couple console communication wires and a couple uh, I squared C lines coming down to the Micromite. Uh, this other adapter that you see here, this is just my, my Wii nunchuck adapter. And the only reason I'm just leaving it plugged in is it's got the uh, pull up resistors on the uh, I squared C channel. So uh, this is an easy, easy, easy combination to put together and uh, capabilities here are just downright amazing. I want to show you some of what I'm working on here. So let me back the camera up so that you can see the screen. Okay, so I've powered up this project and I'm in what we call now mode one, uh, which is the, uh, the old fashioned kind of retro looking uh, mode. Uh, the propeller has uh, as outputting to the screen. Uh, same kind of thing you had on the Pocket Mini computer last year. Uh, the difference is is that the basic that's running here is running from the Micromite. So uh, this looks like basic from last year. It looks like Fem2 basic uh, or color basic as we've called it. But what you're really seeing here is the propeller running a very sophisticated terminal program. And the a little prompt here is a prompt from the Micromite. So, for instance, if I type list, oh, that's not basic, that's spin code. Uh, that just happens to be what's in the memory of the Micromite, but I'll tell you what, I will get to that in video part two, so stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna type new and uh, clear that out of memory for now. You just forget you saw that till the next video. So, this is mode one. And Mode 1 has the same kinds of capabilities that we had uh, last year in Color Basic. We, you know, have got the ability to plot and redefine characters and move things around the screen. Um, but the basic behind this is super powerful compared to what we had before. Uh, this basic has data and read ability. Data statements, read statements. Um, it has strings Man, I miss strings. It has len and str and ascii and uh, and chr commands. Uh, it's got in key. It's got a whole bunch of things that we just simply just there wasn't enough memory in the propeller alone to put all those things in and still have something to operate on. Not to mention the fact there's 22k of free memory space available for your programs. Now, to manipulate the file system that's set up here, we need to switch over to mode two. And I've got a hotkey here, which is control F2. And what we've done is we're just telling the propeller to load a different video mode, uh, which is an 80 column mode. And I've got a prompt here. And if I type DIR, this might remind you of prop DOS for some of you been around for a while. Um, we have the ability to load things, save, uh, delete files. And so I'm going to load a basic program here type load and we're going to load i2c lines.bas and what's just transpired here is that the, the micromite has negotiated a little x modem transfer from the propeller's uh, SD card into the memory of the micromite and so now if I type list here's a little different program notice the absence of line numbers we can use them we just don't need them anymore. It's wonderful. So I'm going to type edit. And this is where the, the Micromite really shines in this combination. We've got a full screen editor at our disposal here. Um, and so what you're seeing here, this is a simple program. 
um, that treats the propeller like an I squared C device. That's what those other two communication lines are for, and controls it as our display. And I'm going to go down here. This is not set to switch to mode one. I'll tell it to switch to mode one there, and hit F1 to save and type run. The propeller has just been told to load mode one and run the lines demo. It's a little faster than the old lines demo used to be. Now you'll notice some of the lines are just off the edges of the screen and it's because the numbers in this program are actually set for mode three. So let's change it up to mode three and take a look at what that's capable of. I'm gonna hit control C and type edit. Okay, we're back to the editor inside of mode two. And I'm going to come down here and change this to from 190 to 192, which will tell it to invoke mode 3 next time this runs. And run the program. This time mode 3 has been loaded. And, man, that's nice. So, so now we don't just have one video mode. We have three. And you know what? Because it's the propeller and because it's going to load as many of these things as we want off of the SD card, we can have as many modes as many different outputs as we want just as long as I have room for it on the SD card and as long as the propeller is capable of it. So let's tap control C here. Now if I type list in this mode this is not a very friendly mode. Let's do that again to reading programs. I mean you can see it. So we need to hotkey back to mode 2 which is kind of the modern 80 column. This is actually mode 2 is a VT100 compatible mode. Um, and if I type list here, there's the same program that's in memory. And if I type edit, I'm in the editor. So uh, you can see how we've tied all this kind of around the Micromite uh, to take advantage of its capabilities. Now let's go ahead and unload this program. Type new and load Star Trek dot basic. Now this is a uh, this is a classic basic program that I have not yet finished um, doing the conversion on. So, but if I type list, you can see, yeah, this is this is old school line numbers. Um, so let's run this guy, and we'll give it a random number. Oop, struggling with that. I need to. Need to work on this code a little bit. Let's try it again. There we go. All right. Some of you old timers, you gray-haired guys, might remember this program. This is the uh, the old Star Trek game in Basic. And uh, let's see. Let's turn on our warp engines and uh, Course One and Warp Twelve. We'll fly in. Uh, see if we can find some Klingons but this program is running in mode 2 I could just as easily switch over here to mode 1 and if I type list yep still in memory still sitting there let's run it again let's see let's see if we can give it a random number it'll accept Yep. Oh, need to fix that there we go and now I'm running the same program in mode one. So a lot of horsepower here. You know what? This Micromite, if you want to talk to uh, LCD uh, displays, you want to talk to servos, you want to talk to ultrasonic sensors, rotary encoders, um, the code for it is so extremely simple, it isn't even funny. The, for instance, if you hook an ultrasonic sensor, one of those cheap ultrasonic sensors from China, to the inputs of the Micromite side, you can literally use one line of code to read the distance from the sensor. Um, servos aren't that much different. Hook a servo up to the Micromite side, it's like one control command to tell the servo where you want it to go, what the rotation should be. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's basic. Basic is, you know, some people don't have nice things to say about basic. I'm not one of them, but it's more than just playing old classic games. Uh, we have the abilities to do modern controls. So see you in the next video, guys, while I show you some more.